If you have a tire that won't inflate because it has a broken bead or a seal to the wheel, let me show you how to do it. It's real easy. Come with me. What is up guys and welcome back. Check it out, check it out. Had a lady down the road, uh, she had a riding mower and she wanted some help putting a new tire on, uh, getting a new tire for it and all that. Went down to check it out, her mower just sat too long. It got flat and then the, the seal or the bead or whatever popped off the wheel. It wasn't inflating, she thought it, she needed a new tire, but it's a real easy fix, I'm gonna show you how. So today, I'm gonna go with this rear tire. Now, you can't really tell, but when you go to put air in, all the air comes out right around the rim because it's not sealed to the rim at all. There's a good shot of it there. So the seal or the bead is broke. Here's the easy way to fix that. Now you can sit here all day and try to put air in it, but it's not gonna take any air. It's just gonna continue to seat from all those seams from mounts to the actual wheel. A couple of other things you can do, you can take this off, you can jump all around on it, hope you get lucky and catch a seal while you're, you're jumping on it, hitting it with your knee while you're trying to inflate it. The easiest way I found is definitely a ratchet strap. Got all different sizes of ratchet straps you can use. With the lawnmower applications and stuff, I like to use a one and a half. If this is a trailer tire or a car or something like that, you like a two inch ratchet strap or even thicker. Now, how do we do that? Easiest way I have found is to keep it mounted to your actual vehicle. If you want, you can take it off, but then you gotta try to hold it and do all your stuff at the same time. So let that do it for you. Let's get this bad boy jacked up, strap it on it, and I'll show you how easy this is. I'm gonna chalk the front wheels because once this comes up, the front wheels are free floating, it'll take off. You only need it high enough to get that strap right under the tire. That's good right there. Take your ratchet strap, feed it through, give you about a, the approximate length you need to get around your tire. Keep everything flat and nice. Now just take this thing around, right over the dead center of the tire. Then you can adjust the strap through the slot, give yourself enough to where you can just hook it to itself. And rotate it up. Another one of the keys is to make sure this trails off straight with this strap here so it all winds nice and neat. Now if you're not familiar with the ratchet strap, to get these to start working right here is a little lever releases these little uh, gears. So if I pull that back, It'll let me rotate it forward. It'll put it to the cranking position. I'm gonna make sure that stays in the middle. That's key. And now that it's there, it's time to go at it. So with this thing, you want it really tight. Really tight, but not over tightened. So I got it there, that's pretty tight. And then I'll give it one more like that. And you see how tight that is on there. Now you don't want it so tight that you're standing up just like cranking on this thing. Cause then you're gonna get really, really sketchy when air gets in there. And now we are ready to inflate. Make sure it's nice and solid. And we'll step over and see what happens. It should take air, if not. And when you do this process, you could try to take a hammer, take your foot, kick around vibrate your tire from both sides. Keep in mind, you can, now it's jacked up, you can spin it and do the back. You got access to all that, and maybe even tighten it a little bit more. Now we can go on here, give it some air. This is very important. I put this at 90 PSI coming out of the machine, and I stop at 10, 10 PSI in the tire. Never go higher than that, and you'll see why in a second. When you take this strap off, and you mix in the fact that now it has 10 PSI versus zero from before, that's the little part where you get a little sketchy if you go any higher than that. So here we go, let's see if it takes air. This should pop up with an air reading if it starts to take. It'll take a little bit to get the tire full of air and there you go. Starting to take air, going up toward 10. Right there, it's got about 10 PSI in it. That's enough to where when I take off this strap, it's still enough air pressure to where it's got a seal on that wheel. 
Next thing, this is the most intimidating part of this process, is taking off the strap. So when you take off the strap, you're going to reach in or reach on, and you're going to pull this lever, releasing those gears, and all that tension is going to pop. So the main thing is to keep all your fingers away from underneath this thing or any of the working gears and stuff. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is when you're doing this, don't have a, a backwards wrist that's going to hurt your wrist. Don't have a crunched over wrist that's going to hurt your wrist. Over the years, I found that's the easiest way to get hurt. Keep that wrist straight, arm straight. Straight wrist, I'm going to pull back. You're going to see it and feel it pop. There we go. Now we can finish airing it up. I want to confirm with you, it has 34 PSI. 32. 34. And there's your before and after. She is seated and sealed real nice. I just want to throw a note that these tires got really old. That's why mine are doing it now. I do have all four new tires ready to go, sitting inside your garage. And I might as well just put all four of those on and show you how to do that as well if you want new tires. Probably do that next week. Another tip is when you go to pop that thing off, when you go to pop that strap, don't be in the linear proximity of that strap, which means don't be anywhere where that strap could come off and those hooks can unhook and fly off and hit you or whatever. Stay to the side. Hey guys, that's all I have for today. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, check out the people on the bottom of my channel called Bad Mofos. Hours and hours of fun. There's all kinds of other videos on there. Check out my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notifications of more to come. Remember, make life a party and don't forget to invite yourself. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Later. Peace. Come on!